All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your man, DJ TJ. You're listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. This is Friday Night Live. It is October 16, 2020. The song you just heard was Justin Bieber with Holy featuring Chance the Rapper. And this is what's in your news. So, let's see. What is in the news? Okay. Wow. So since there has been protest and different things changing racist-wise, Disney has jumped into the boat and changed how they present their cartoons with warnings now. Disney Plus will be adding content warnings to Dumbo and Peter Pan. The updated disclosure appears when a user clicks on the film with the label on the screen for moments. Disney updates the content warning for racism in classic films like Lady and the Tramp. Wow. So Disney Plus's disclaimer now acknowledges harmful impact of racist stereotypes. This is a big deal, y'all. Disney Plus adds content advisory warnings in front of Dumbo, Peter Pan, and other cartoons. So... They're one of the largest media corporations in the world, y'all. In the world. And they've changed how they do what they normally do. Shout out to Disney for recognizing and changing the world. That's a huge deal, y'all. That's really huge. I'm surprised it hasn't been said on the news just yet, but... Maybe this just happened. I don't know. But um, this is news coming out of the Chicago Tribune about an hour ago. All right. So if anybody knows Ron Eli, Challenged the Santa Barbara District Attorney after a fatal shooting of his son, which was deemed justifiable. Now, this is not a black man having a problem with something being justifiable shooting. This is a white man by the name of Ron Eli. And, um, seems like this is happening everywhere, so. Sometimes we gotta change everything for everyone, not just some people. That's why people say all lives matter, but you know, sometimes you can't leave people out when all lives matter. So that's why they say black lives matter because most of the time black lives do get left out, but. In this case, everybody matters because it's not just happening to black lives. I get it. All right, in New Zealand, Australia, the travel bubble has opened. One way travel bubble opens between Australia and New Zealand. 
the first passengers from New Zealand have arrived in Australia under new travel bubble rules. Hong Kong and Singapore agree to new travel bubble rules to reopen financial hub links. This is a big deal, you guys, because there's been a lot of lockdowns and bans and travel, and people aren't allowed to get out like they used to, and People use, still use the airlines, but they can't go to certain countries. It's like we can't leave the United States and go to certain countries. They can't come to the United States from certain countries. And certain countries don't let other certain countries come in, not just the U.S. So we're not just the only ones that's being banned. Take that into consideration, y'all. All right. So, on a much brighter note, Nicki Minaj and Drake are already planning play dates for their children. Nicki Minaj finally revealed to the world this week that she gave birth to a baby boy recently on Instagram. She shared a congratulatory note from Beyonce on her first child I'm just say this I didn't even know Nicki Minaj was pregnant I didn't know she was seeing Drake I didn't know any of that so I'm not up on my entertainment news so don't bite my head off because I didn't know but I didn't know because to my understanding between Nicki Minaj and another artist they had stopped rapping all together I could be wrong I don't know if that was her or was somebody else but um, that's just what I remember so congratulations Nicki Minaj and Drake or whoever she had it by brand new baby boy first child awesome because restrictions on children while you're in in the industry are huge they don't want you to do anything but do what you do but when you make their money back they don't really care anymore so she must be on that level right now congratulations Did you know that on this day in history in 1969, the Mets, the New York Mets, stunned Baltimore and won the World Series. Did you know that? The New York New York, uh, excuse me, the New York Mets, who had never finished with a winning record, and started the season as a one hundred to one long shot to win the World Series. Complete a dramatic turnaround. The Mets defeat the star-studded Baltimore Oilers. In 
in Game 5 at Shea Stadium to win the series. Wow. October 16th, y'all. In the election news, President Trump and Joe Biden both had town hall meetings instead of a face-to-face debate because it was canceled and on different channels they held these town hall meetings as voters asked them questions and it was broadcasted live over ABC and over NBC and that is the talk of the town right now So some of the answers they gave also opened eyes to a lot of people. Chris Christie acknowledged that he messed up not wearing a mask because he became positive of the coronavirus. And he's now out of the hospital after battling COVID. Urges Trump to go even farther on masks. Now, Joe Biden already said that once he becomes president, he will have a mask mandate in place, which I believe is an awesome idea because people really don't care about this thing anymore. Trump says you have to go through it. Once you get through it, you don't have to worry about it no more. Well, guess what? There was a case where a guy, after a month or two, got the virus again. So, yes, once you get it, you become immune, but only for so long and only for so many different people. And there are different strands out here. So you never know what you might get. You might get something worse than the first one that you got that you were immune to or you had a symptomatic uh, episodes or or, uh, reactions to, you know, you never know what uh, strand you might end up with. Not to mention that it is now flu season, flu and cold season. And these weather changes are very dramatic and heavy right now. So you never know. Just wear your mask. It's that simple, y'all. I don't know if I can say his name right, but I'll say it. Salvador Cienfuegos Zepeda. Mexico's ex-defense minister has been arrested in the U.S. This is General Salvador Cienfuegos. Oh, I'm sorry. President Andreas Manuel Lopez Obrador says that he was arrested. I'm sorry. Asking yourself, what was he arrested for? Well, let's see what he was arrested for. He was arrested on drug and money charges. Wow. In Los Angeles, at the airport, on a DEA warrant. That's a big deal, y'all. Next, Mexican Army Chief.
Ruth Bader Ginsburg is back in the news. A native daughter of Brooklyn to get a statue in her hometown. They gave her a statue, y'all. She was an honorary member for women. So, that's a shout out to Ginsburg, all right? All right, the COVID cases have grown at a speed not seen since July in the summer peak. So this thing has taken off and people are saying this is going to be a second wave coming because of the season and it has already started, y'all. So no matter what, people need to take this seriously. You're wondering about stimulus relief. I'm going to get to that in a minute, just a second. The U.S. just surpassed 8 million coronavirus cases. Think about your family this Thanksgiving. There's a lot of people that will not go see them because of this. There's a lot of people that are going to be putting their family in risk when they do go see their family. So think about your family this season. And Halloween has not been canceled, but there are people trying to make a way for these children to enjoy the holiday like we did when we were growing up. There have been drive-through Halloween candy giveaways in my town. I've seen some things on Facebook and on uh, other shows like... uh, Kathy and Ryan or whatever it was. Um, the guy was shooting candy <laughs> through the air. Excuse me. In order to give them candy with a rocket launcher kind of thing. And uh, there was another one with a slingshot. So you want to enjoy Halloween this year if that's what your thing is. You can slingshot some candy to these children. Which is amazing, but I understand why they do it. And Biden has signaled that he'll take a position on the Supreme Court expansion before the election. He has not. Many people say he's going to pack the court, which means no matter what they end up doing with this new nominee for the seat that Ginsburg has departed from, and um, if they decide to nominate her and put her in the seat, Biden has a choice to pack it when he gets in and make it even. On both sides, so that if they get one, we get one, and or you know what I'm saying, kind of thing. So, heads up on that. Coming down to the last couple stories, y'all. So, the Colts closed practice facility after positive COVID-19 tests. The Indianapolis Colts announced Friday that several individuals within the organization have COVID-19.
and uh, people who are trying to vote have contracted COVID-19. Cincinnati and Tulsa have postponed their game due to COVID-19. Israel has eased their lockdown. And Joe Biden has laid out his plan, his vision, in his town hall meeting he had last night. So just so you know, and they did not talk about it. Nancy Pelosi was on CNN recently and her and Wolf Blisser were in an interview and people were saying she went off or she had words or she got heated and I'm not going to say that. Instead, I'm going to say that she was offended by his questions and took a defensive stance to his questions and the way she defended um, changed the tone of the interview. So he asked, why don't you talk to the president? She said, you don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. And people who said, why don't don't you take the deal this? Why don't you take the deal that? She said, that's lovely. They're lovely. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like uh, Andrew Yang and another person had said, take the deal, Nancy. She said, they're lovely. But they have no idea the language. They have no idea the particulars. And her team is doing the right thing in trying to make this deal. And as far as for her talking to the president, she believes that the people he wants to talk to her are in place. Because as everybody knows, they do not get along. So... That is what is in your news for this week. And I have personal news I need to share with you. We may be moving to a FM station really, really soon. It is in works. It is in works. It is in works. And God will make it happen. I am seeking help and I will get that help once I get there so God is good you still want to volunteer your time and effort to help with the station and their scheduling during the week please reach out to me on Facebook Instagram YouTube or our web page I will respond to you and We also have now at my church currently the Hour of Power on Thursday night at 7. And if you want to watch, go to Mind, Body, and Soul Ministries on Facebook. Or you can watch it on Comcast Channel 19 at 8 o'clock on Friday and the following week on Monday, I believe. But it will be on channel 19. It is covered by the GNN network. The Good News Network. 
and we are doing big things you are it's the hour of power and um that's all I have for you this week. And if I have anything else, I'll be right back after our new song of the week. This is your man, DJ TJ. You are listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio. This is Friday Night Live. It is October 16th, 2020. If you are on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, make sure you leave a comment or give us a like and make sure that you share. If you're on Facebook, make sure you share, hit the like button, leave a comment and tell your friends. We will be right back after this message from our new song of the week. Stay right there. <laughs> 